good morning students welcome to your standard 6 computer class and today we will discuss about the lesson 1 computer fundamentals and first we will discuss about the instruction of the computer instructions are those commands that you give to the computer to do your tasks and instruction given to a computer as a fact or figure is called data and data can be entered into a computer by using any of the input device and you can use the keyboard and mouse depending on the type of data and instruction to be given to the computer first now we we'll discuss about the computer system what is computer system computer system computer system has both of its components and software and working unison to perform the task and hardware consists of the physical components such as keyboard monitor hard disk printer scanner mouse etc and software is a set of programs that instruct the computer about the task to be performed and software that control the entire system is called a system software such as the operating system and software used to carry out a specific task is known as an application software such as word powerpoint excel c this is the computer system and this one is monitor and this one is keyboard speaker and this one is mouse and this one is cpu and cpu is the brand of the computer and now to we'll discuss about the ipo cycle ipo cycle that means every computer follows the input process output cycle that is called the ipo cycle the computer first takes the data as input process it as per the given instructions and then give a meaningful result as an as an output that is the ipo cycle in ipo cycle input processing and output is there and first we'll discuss about the out input and the ipo cycle goes through three stages the first stage is known as the input stage in which the data and instructions are given to the computer by using input device an input device consists of the keyboard mouse scanner light fan and webcam and magnetic ink and also character radar optical mark uh, reader and microphone and several others so see this one is keyboard and this one is mouse and this one is scanner and this one is light pen and this one is webcam and now discuss about the processing the second stage is known as the processing stage in which the processing device the cpu process data as far as the given instructions and next one is output and this is the third stage known as the output stage in which the output is given uh, after processing and the post uh, the output provided by the cpu can be seen through an output device such as the monitor printer projector and this one is monitor this one is printer all of you see and this one is projector and this one is plotter and the following figure shows the various stages of the flow of information 
on a computer by using the IPO cycle and input device such as the keyboard and mouse then CPU and then output device such as the monitor and printer and then this one is storage and today we will discuss more about the computer system children now we'll discuss about the cpu and cpu box is a cache that houses the cpu chip and some other processing and storage devices and uh, drivers such as the motherboard and sound card hard disk and ram and rom see this is the cpu box and this is the cpu cache and the CPU chip or processor is a hardware component that receives instructions as input and these are given by the user and it performs various operations according to the instructions and after processing it sends the result to an output device and it is also known as the brain of the computer. And the computer consists of two main components and these two main components are arithmetic and logic unit first one and second one is control unit or we can say that arithmetic and logic unit as ALU and control unit as CU the first one arithmetic and logic unit the arithmetic and logic units is responsible for all kinds of arithmetic and logic uh, operations. It performs uh, arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and logic operations such as less than, greater than, equal and less than equal, greater than equal etc. And if you input two numbers as data for multiplying them, they becomes instructions you type these two numbers from the keyboard which is an input device and to the memory of the CPU and uh, the early performs the calculations and transmits them back to the memory as its result and next one is control unit and the control unit it controls and guides the instructions and then interprets and executes them and uh, the control unit receives instructions from the memory and executes them and when the execution of an instruction is over the control unit transmits signals to the memory and it uh, trans uh, control unit transmits signals to the memory for sending the next in instructions and it also manages the flow of data from input device uh, and uh, it form um, it form memory to output device and this today is this much and next we'll discuss about the memory in a computer thank you